This video is about word suggestions and how they can benefit people in function of the accuracy of the suggestions and the device being used. My name is Quentin Roy and this work is a collaboration with Sébastien Berliou, Géry Cazier and Daniel Vogel. Word suggestions is a technique to speed up text input by predicting what users are typing before they do and suggest shortcuts so they do not have to type the entirety of a word. Word suggestions are widespread. They are available on virtually every mobile devices but also on laptop computers. So millions of users are daily exposed to word suggestions. Yet, we actually know quite little about how they are used and how they can benefit users. Previous works even showed that they can in fact slow down users. But where do we move from here? Does this mean suggestions are not accurate enough? How accurate do they need to be? Does it depend on how fast users can type to begin with? For example, the device they use? In a nutshell, what is the impact of accuracy and typing efficiency on the usage and benefits to enter speed of word suggestions? To answer this, we design a simple transcription task using well-established phrase set from Mackenzie and Sukhoref. We included two factors, the accuracy of word suggestions, ranging from upsettingly inaccurate to uncannily accurate, and the device used to type. The device used to type was used as a proxy for typing efficiency. Here is how the different condition looked like. Note that on phone, participants had to use only one hand. For the accuracy factor, however, we had a problem. Intuitively, we have some idea of what it means for word suggestions to be more or less accurate. But can we formalize it and operationalize it? This is actually the second main contribution of our work. I will not go into details, but our formalization of accuracy is based on maximum keystroke saving which measures the proportion of keystrokes that were saved thanks to word suggestions. As an example, 0.5 accuracy means half of the characters are correctly suggested and thus can be saved. But we also needed to control the position of the correct suggestion out of the three that are shown to participants. To do this, we built a Bayesian model using data gathered from macOS. Here are some of our results. The colored line indicates the device being used. On X is accuracy. On Y is how much keystroke was saved, which of course is bounded by the accuracy. Keystroke saving increases with accuracy, though note that this is not linear. In fact, participants did not use much suggestions except when they were extremely accurate. 90% accuracy feels like the system is reading your mind, but even then, suggestions were virtually not used at all on laptop. We were surprised to find no difference between tablet and phone. It is not shown here, but participants were actually as fast when typing with two hands on a large tablet touch keyboard than on a phone with only one hand. To conclude, word suggestions must be uncannily accurate to improve entry speed. How beneficial they are depends on how fast users can type. If we want to improve entry speed, designing faster typing techniques appears more effective than improving the accuracy of word suggestions.